thanks to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praises to Him for all He has done. Seek the Lord and His strength. He talked about when you, when you are walking in the power of God, that will change your perspective, right? Perspective is the way that you see things. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I've been teaching comes from Paul's letter to the Philippians. And I've mentioned this in the last couple of weeks, that it was all from Paul, all from his letter to the Philippians, and all seven things that we focus on start with a P. The, that, that purpose, that praise, the uh, price. price, the power, and now leading up to the perspective. Keeping it simple, all right? Amen. But the Apostle Paul himself, think of this. Think about his perspective. Mm -hmm. Prior to his encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus, he was so religious, right? Yes. He, 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 he was a Pharisee among the Pharisees, Pharisees, right? Yes. He was so religious that the Lord had to blind him to show him the truth. Mm. Okay? Yeah. That's Talk about true. how you see things. So I'm just going to read Philippians 3, start in verse 4, to 4, 5, and 6, all right? This is Paul talking. Although I myself might have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I far more. Circumcised the eighth day of the nation of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law of Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to the righteousness which is in the law, found blameless. So, this was his perspective of his life, right? Mm -hmm. But somewhere along the line, thinking about, I, I, I don't imagine there were too many people alive that had a better knowledge of Scripture than the Apostle That's Paul. Right. Yeah. Now, you can, understand, you can have a knowledge of the Scripture and not know the Word. That's true. I mean, that's obvious from the fact that the Pharisees, who were literally expert in Scripture, mm -hmm. didn't recognize the Word when He walked through their midst. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's all about perspective, how you see things. But Paul would have certainly read this verse in 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. Only fear the Lord and serve Him in truth with all your heart. For consider what great things He has done for you. Right? Now, I, I wanted to talk about that word consider. There's a difference between just glancing at something, looking at something, and considering it. Mm -hmm. That means that you're appraising it. You're, you're looking at it intently. Pondering. Pondering, yes. Yeah. It's not just a quick glance. Mm -hmm. It's not just, oh, I saw it, but, you know, it's it about... It's right out of your head. Right, it's about considering, is a, to give it real deep thought. So now, Paul had this perspective. But religion is about believing that the Lord should consider the things that you've done. Mm. That's a religious belief. Yes. Yeah. That you, you want God to consider the fact that, oh yeah, I tithe. Yeah. Oh yeah, I went to church every Sunday. Oh yeah. You okay, know, right, I sang yeah. in the choir. I did this. That's what religion is. Trying, trying to believe that God's going to consider what you've done. Mm. But salvation is a free gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. A righteous relationship, that, and that's what we're to consider, mm -hmm. the great things that he has done. Amen. It's not about getting him to consider the things we're doing, but we're to be considering the great things he has done. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. Mm -hmm. Is there anything greater? No. No greater, no greater gift. There's, there is no greater thing that God has done for us than to give His only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. Without that, there's no salvation whatsoever, right? So, serving Him, ministry, in truth and with all your heart, as it said in 1 Samuel, right, will cause everything you do to be a blessing. When you're doing, when you're serving God mm -hmm. that way, Everything you do is going to be a blessing to you. Trying to serve the Lord out of religious obligation will make everything you do a chore, a burden. Yes. All right? A labor that you hope 
will earn you God's favor or God's love. Right? To serve the Lord out of religious obligation is, is a terror. It's bondage. Paul knew what a sinner he was. He called himself the foremost, the chiefest of sinners in 1 Timothy 1.15. But then the Lord showed him that, here's what he wrote, Paul wrote in Romans 8.1, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. In him, he wrote to the Ephesians, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. When you consider the great things God has done, all of a sudden your relationship is based on his grace, his amazing grace. Religion struggles to try and create that relationship based on what you're doing, all right? Oh